everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I'm here to talk about night sweats. <gasps> these are not fun. No one likes these. Mm, yeah, right? No one likes these at all. Um, okay, when we look at night sweats, I'm going to put a link here before I forget so you guys can look at Dutch Test. What is Dutch test? Mm, great question. Dutch test is dried urine test because D-U-T-C-H, dried urine test of comprehensive hormones. So it tests not just what your hormone levels are just in your body, but how your body's actually processing them. Why is this important? It's important because it tells us where the mishap is happening in your system to lead to things like night sweats. Now, night sweats are something that oftentimes when women are going through perimenopause, they experience. But night sweats often happen when women are um, put on a birth control, coming off of a birth control, have had a baby, or have hormonal you know, shifts and changes in their bodies. Just anything different hormonally can cause night sweats, which then leads to the question, why am I having them? Is it your estrogens? Are your estrogens off? Are you estrogen dominant? Do you have other issues? Do you have night sweats at certain times of the month and not at others? Or are you going through perimenopause? Or, or have you been in menopause for five years and still having night sweats? Oh my gosh, what is it, right? So the key is figuring out what is the thing to help with night sweats. Because just doing like a general thing or just taking like a general supplement doesn't always target the thing that's off in your body or your system. So when we look at uh, Dutch test here, and this is why I love Dutch test, because it looks at not just, and this is a sample of it, you get your estrogens, progesterones, testosterones, cortisol levels, right, and so much more. And it tells us exactly which one it is and then where this is going off. So here's an example of things that can help you narrow it down and where to put your focus so you're actually seeing something happen that lets you know you're on the right track. If it's something like your estrogens are off, your estrogen dominant, um, your system's going through perimenopause, estrogen should drop first. But if you have too much estrogen and your progesterone drops first or those things are off in your system, right? It, it's, a, it's an estrogen problem. It can be related to the liver and how your liver is processing it. Now, again, Dutch test lets us know, which again, that link is in the comments there. Dutch test lets us know exactly where the breakdown and in which phase, which step that needs the attention. Um, that's the big thing with the estrogens here. But for estrogens, the biggest thing you're going to focus on then is the liver. How is your liver functioning? How is it clearing these things out? Is it or isn't it, right? And which phase? So with liver, oftentimes you can find yourself waking up at like 2 a.m., you know, 3 a.m., you know, that's an M. <laughs> I'm writing too fast. Um, 2 a.m. or 3 a.m., experiencing night sweats. You're like, yeah, oh, I mean, I might not wake up every single night. It might be related to my cycle or it might be related to just different phases or something, but I'm waking up around this time. That can be liver, right? That That's something that's related. Okay, now I know I need to target liver. Or I need to target my estrogens or work on my hormone balancing, maybe layer in more seed cycling. Make sure you're being consistent with that. Um, if you're not sure what seed cycling is, I have a ton of info um, on that. I've done videos on that. My YouTube channel is called Dr. Beth Westy. Um, you can subscribe to that to stay updated on all the videos I have, but great resources there. But again, realizing, okay, that's, that might be the estrogen piece, but that's the liver. Oh, cortisol. Is it cortisol, right? These, you know, hot flashes, night sweats can happen um, anytime, right? Anytime, all the time, all the things. Yes. This means that you, you could wake up an hour after you fell asleep drenched, right? Drenched. Um, you know, again, do you still need to focus on the liver here too? Oh, I wrote liver down here too. <laughs> yes. But also if you're not paying attention to your stress levels, I meant to write stress down here too. Um, stress levels, stress, right? Is it liver or is it stress? And sometimes it's both, right? But if you're not targeting your stress levels for the cortisol, right? Then you're not actually going to make an improvement with this. Meaning you can try and eat super, super clean. You can be working out perfectly, following the perfect protocol, all these things for exercise, but your stress levels are off, right? Which again, we see, I can see what your pattern of stress is throughout the day, mm -hmm. which would then trigger you to have night sweats all night long. You could multiple times a night. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is the Dutch test a one and done or should there be a follow-up? Ooh, great, great question. 
So Dutch test um, gives me information on what's happening in your body right now. And then soonest we would retest is about six months. You can retest again in nine months or a year, but this is something that um, it's taken either, um, if you've been through menopause, you can take it anytime. If you have an active cycle, you take it at a certain time in your cycle. So then that lets us get the information, start working on it, and then in about you know six month time frame, I'd know that we'd be you know at a point where we could test again and see where these levels are at or see what other corrections we would need to make. Yeah, great question. Um, but again, so often with night sweats, if you Google it or something, they're like, oh, take this for night sweats, blah, blah, blah. And if you're like, yeah, that didn't help me at all. That didn't help. Yeah, because you're probably... What if you have problems with both? You have problems with both estrogen, you're estrogen dominant, you've had hormone issues in the past, yeah, mm -hmm. and now you're having cortisol and stress issues. Ooh. Do you have to target both? Yes, you have to target both. Yes, you have to work on both. Does it take longer? Mm -hmm. It can take longer to really get rid of those night sweats that you're having. Oftentimes women who have night sweats, hormonal issues, stress in their lives right now, right? You're not just looking at night sweats being your only symptom, right? There's other things. You have fatigue, you have other hormonal symptoms. Oftentimes you've put on some extra weight and you're like, ugh, I can't get it off no matter what. Or I, 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 I'm feeling, you know, I'm working out, I'm feeling more tone in my arms and legs, but man, I've got this belly fat and that just won't go away, right? These are all things to target because they all contribute to how your system is functioning. To really look at something in your body and not look at how it's connected to everything else is really giving you like a half-assed glance and half-assed care, right? It's really important that we're looking at your entire system. So when I go through a Dutch test with somebody, I'm not just looking at the test, right? I'm not just looking at, oh, this is the one piece, take this thing, see you later. It's what is everything involved? I learn more about your history. I learn more about what you have going on and other systems involved, and then make recommendations that are really tailored for you to help take you from where you're at to where you wanna go. And again, oftentimes the recommendations are given in stages because we have to make sure your system is functioning better. If you have gut health, that's gonna impact how well your body uploads nutrients. Um, if you've had stress or trauma in the past, that impacts how well your body can handle current stressors. And if you have any nutrient depletion going on, all these things matter to how fast you can really see the right results with your system. And again, these are things we talk about too, because oftentimes we start, oh, I'm taking this thing and I've been taking it for two weeks and it's not really been helping and I'm not sure it's the right thing. And with, with what you have going on in your system, and again, we find out with the right test here, you might need more time. Your body might need more time. Your body might need more you know, of something to actually have it take effect. It's not that it's not the right thing. It might just mean more, more time. So these are all things that we go through. And I, again, having this information gives you so much more power to realize, okay, these are the things that are the right next step for me. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Other resources I have for you, of course, are my podcast, which is called The Female Health Solution. Um, tons of great episodes coming out there. Uh, some fantastic interviews as well. And then my books, I have my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. And then my book, The Female Menopause Solution, also on Amazon. Great resources that talk a lot about not just nutrition for hormones and cycle, but nutrition for women in menopause, but also overall health recommendations, exercise, everything. So... Let me know what questions you have. I'm here as a resource for you. And if you found this helpful or know somebody that needs this information, please share this with them because the more women that know this information, the more that you can make steps in the right direction for you. All right, have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.